Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a brand new video format I'm trying out today, recording my screen with my beautiful new microphone and uh, just going through some news. Now I want to note to begin with that I don't talk about leaks on this channel. I have a lot of people messaging me saying, oh Simon, why have you not talked about the new Halo Heroes leaks? Because I want to respect Mega and Mattel as a company and a brand. I don't want to talk about leaks from China, places like that. I want to only talk about official news, but technically all of the stuff we've got recently is direct from Amazon for purchase. This is a release, it's not a leak. So I'm happy to talk about these today because goodness me, we've got some things to talk about. So I'm actually, uh, yeah, gonna test this new format out. When Mega allows me to reveal products officially, I'm gonna do a more, you know, edited approach, but when I've actually got news, I'd like to sit down and do these casual recordings. I think they're a little more personal. I'm not really gonna edit them. I just want them to be like an honest piece of feedback live. Like I've only seen these images for a little bit. I've obviously put them into some editing and got them into some nice presentation. We're gonna go over the history of different set releases before this one as well. And I want you guys to make sure to comment down below and tell me what you think of this release. So this is wild. And as always with these reveals, it comes from Mega Constructs News on, well, both Twitter and Instagram. If you don't follow Mega Constructs News on Twitter or Instagram, I mean, they are the number one place to get immediate news for Halo releases, so I would highly recommend that. So on the Twitter, we got this. The UNSC Hornet Recon set. Oh my goodness. I mean, could, could you ask for anything better? Like, I don't know. It's so... So cool. I, I really didn't think we would get a new Hornet, but here we are. And yeah, you should always follow Mega Constructs News. They're a great account, really good friends with them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna check out exactly where this came from. Uh, shout out to Roman the Spartan for the original heads up. This is on Amazon.com. Mexico, MX, Mexico, I guess. Uh, and yes, the whole thing is in uh, Spanish, but we have actually translated it here. So it's not available at the moment. I don't know yet. I'm trying to gain a bit more intel as to whether this was ever like actually available for purchase or actually available for pre-order. Usually it's hard to tell because if something is available for purchase or pre-order, it's immediately snapped up. So I don't actually know if this was ever available. So I got to find that out. But I woke up to this news and I really just had to make a video. Uh, it came by the name, uh, you know, Mega, they, they have cool code names nowadays. This one was Halo Snowstorm. I like that. I remember, I think the elephant, uh, the original code name was San Nest or something. They have some fun uh, code names. I don't really know why this is Snowstorm though, because yeah, it's not, there's there's no snow. I mean, maybe the ODST, but he's uh, he's a recon specialist. I mean, it's a recon set. It's the Hornet recon. So I, <laughs> I don't really know why it was ever nicknamed Snowstorm. Um, maybe that's a reference to a character that's in here. I'd love to know in the uh, comments down below. So this is, oh my goodness, an incredible set, like an absolutely incredible set. All it says is coming soon, Mega Constructs Halo, Snowstorm, Mega Constructs Halo. This is just, uh, to try and get it into search engine results, I guess. Uh, and there's there's not really much else to it. Uh, we're gonna go through the images though, but uh, one person may have noticed something uh, that uh, there's, some, there's some special character in here, I think. I think this is Sergeant Stacker, which if it is, man, Mega is just going through and just saying, hey, what can we release? Like how many random named characters can we get out the door? We got Hood next year. We got, uh, what's the ODST uh, this year from the Hive Exterminator. Uh, Tarkov, yeah, we've had some crazy ones. So 343, yeah, uh, I, was, <laughs> I was like, oh, what's that tab? Is that something I needed? No, that was the original meme. <laughs> I tricked myself, honestly. Uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look at the images, shall we, folks? This is unbelievable. Uh, go to the start of this. Look at that. The UNSC Hornet Recon. First of all, Gotta shout out the packaging, as always. I love the new design. I love so many things about the new design, actually, like so many things. I love the fact that uh, the Mega logo is so bold and beautiful at the top there. I, I absolutely love that. I love that the characters are against like a purple background at the top there. I love 
the fact that they're just standing to attention. And this has been the case in a couple of sets. Just have them just stood there, ready to go. Like, it's not like an action pose every single time. I, I really vibe with that. I loved on the Winter Contingency how the Noble Team were all just stood there at attention. And look at this beautiful Hornet. I really didn't think we were going to get a new Hornet, man. Like, I did not think that was a priority from Mega. And uh, we're going to compare it to other Hornets, especially the Hornet Blitz that came out last. Wow. ODST Gang. ODST Gang. Where are my ODSTs in Halo Infinite? Where are my ODSTs in all the 343 games, man? Oh. The UNSC Hornet Recon. Reconnaissance to Hornet de la UNSC. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we got uh, the basic um, image there, uh, PNG, but then we've also got on, uh, you know, the photorealistic backgrounds. I know some people complain that the uh, new packaging doesn't have photorealistic backgrounds, and I do get it, but uh, I, I really like that they just sneak it on the side there. They have it. Uh, I think Mega should, uh, you know, release all the high-quality images of all these renders uh, because they are phenomenal, but yeah, I just like that it's on the side. I much prefer this bold, just clean, stylized approach, some Forerunner glyphs in the background, but it, it, it it's just focused on the set. You know exactly what you're buying when you see this packaging, exactly what you're buying. And here is exactly what you are buying, the UNSC Hornet, the ODST Recon Hornet, the Recon Hornet. It's got some kind of like laser system there. It seems like some targeted laser. I always wonder, uh, I mean, I think we're this far down the line that, I mean, obviously this is a Halo Universe set, this is not a Halo Infinite set, so it's pretty safe to say that this is not based on unreleased concept from uh, Halo Infinite. I like to comment the other day that the carbine that comes in the new uh, Recon Getaway, no, the new Gungus Gambit, is actually, um, wait, is it the Gungus? Yeah, it is the Gungus Gambit. The carbine that comes in that with the Jackal Sniper uh, has a modified base to it. So it's like a new mold, but it's like, why is there a new mold for a carbine if it wasn't in the game? Probably because it was canceled, cut last minute. We've seen unused content of the carbine in Halo Infinite. But I don't think this is the case. I think this is just a uh, Halo universe. I don't think this is hinting at the Hornet's return in Halo Infinite at all. Though, I mean, that uh, would be a wonderful thing. But uh, yeah, we got some really, really clean figures here. Like, honestly, super clean figures. Why? What? what where's it? <laughs> there we go. We got some super clean figures. Uh, and I'm going to break these down. Uh, but uh, shout out to this Hornet, man. Like, what a, what a sleek, stylized, smoothed Hornet. Like, every single... There's, how many studs can you even count? there that uh that aren't covered in a smoothed off material like there's a few at the back there but apart from the place where the figures could actually stand there's almost none like that is really really well designed credit to mega i mean credit to all designs from mega because they are just amazing but uh here's here's our baby here's our hornet um no confirmed retail on this yet but i will update you guys when i have more info we've got uh the same little thrusters as we did in the hornet blitz we got some nice red light sticking out. Uh, maybe there's a blue light under there based on that uh, reflection. A blue light there. This cockpit looks exceptional. I think that's a complete new mold. These turrets look great. Uh, the rotating blades, which we'll get into in a second. And a nice UNSC print. And that's not just a UNSC print. That's got some battle damage on it, which is always appreciated. 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 <laughs> Wait, <laughs> appreciated. What just happened there? Uh, I love that metallic green as well. I love that metallic green. Mega said that there's two different kinds of green they're going with, the metallic green and uh, the sort of darker green that you see in things like the Gungus Gambit and the Razorback. So it's nice that you can coordinate them. And this is the exact same reflective green as our Hornet Blitz as well. Okay, <laughs> go to the next slide. Go, go, to, the, go to the next slide. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> bear with us, folks. This is this is brand new. This is a brand new brand new series on the domain. Okay, we got our ODST with some really really nice looking shoulders there. Maybe even a bit of uh, damage on his helmet, similar to Tarkov. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, then that uh, Marine, essentially Sergeant Stacker, and yeah, we're getting some Halo Three Marines. I mean, we got Halo Three Marines in the Halo Universe Series Two blind bags. We've got a Halo 3 Marines in the upcoming Sand Trap. 
And uh, we did get Halo 3 Marines in the uh, the Hive 4-pack, the two drones versus two Marines, but they were or they, they didn't have the new uh, removable helmets. Technically, this uh, sergeant doesn't have a removable helmet either. This is just one fixed print, but with caps, I understand. You don't need a removable helmet with a cap. Uh, it just makes sense. <laughs> We've skipped past some images, but I mean, look, look at this sergeant stack. I, I didn't know at first. I was like, when people were speculating on Discord, I was like, is it really sergeant stacker? But then when you look, it's like, oh... Oh, that 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 really is though. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Sergeant Stacker boy, you made it into Mega Constructs. Congrats, bro. Okay, yeah, we got two ODST images. Um, I love the different varied blacks and grays. Uh, I can count at least three different tones, maybe four, maybe running into silvers. The red detailing on these shoulders is much appreciated. I really like that. And he has the new ODST backpack. I think it's probably safe to say that all ODSTs going forward after the ODST Hive Exterminator will have the ODST backpack. And a battle rifle to boot. Um, just plain and simple. Uh, I would love a new Halo 3-esque battle rifle or Magnum mold soon, but I don't think it's a priority for Mega. Yeah, these look really fire. Really fire. Uh, yeah, the Sergeant Stacker has a Magnum, which is kind of funny because he has a battle rifle there, so I kind of wish he had the battle rifle for photo comparison, but yeah, he has a basic Magnum. Uh, this Magnum has always been great. Tried and tested. You know, it's fine. I would like a new mold at some point, uh, a couple of different molds, but I mean, again, not a priority. Nice UNSC uh, hat. Uh, I think this is probably pretty similar. It's probably the same hat mold as the Lord Hood that we're, we're getting and the Sergeant Johnson. I mean, this is probably the exact same hat as the Sergeant Johnson in terms of 3D sculpting. Though, of course, it would be one piece when it's printed with the head, so I don't know. Uh, nice speckling uh, on his limbs and torso, pelvis. Uh, love that green on his knees. Just, yeah, it, it's it's got all the same vibes, all the same merits as the new Universe Series 2 Blind Bag Marine, which is an exceptional figure. So yeah, swappable accessories. That's a really clean image there, really clean. Love that speckling. I hope it's as uh, evident, uh, as clear as it shows in the 3D render, it probably will be. And that head looks really realistic. Mega has uh, sort, of, sort of like an uncanny valley uh, problem with heads where the more detail you put into eyes, the more strange it looks. This one looks fine. Uh, there's been a couple of ghostly Miranda keys floating around the internet, but uh, you, you, you always have a couple. Magnum does look really fresh there. Okay. Here we have him sat inside this turret. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of crazy. Does look like some kind of laser, uh, but it's super detailed. I, I really vibe with it. And uh, I love how they got a glossy glow on all these lights. Uh, he looks a little, little traumatized there. I don't know if he's seen a few too many things. Poor guy, but uh, yeah, it, it's really nice, really nice. I love the presentation here, it's excellent. I wish it was in a rectangular image. A lot of these new mega images, because it's all like Instagram and TikTok and whatever, uh, so they, they're all exported as squares, which I wish they were rectangular, but whatever. This one I stretched out to be rectangular. Flip the switch to rotate the thrusters. So this is the new play feature. Mega's been getting very creative with a lot of this. Uh, their suspension has kind of been going loopy recently, especially the suspension in the new Red Team Charge, it's unreal. So uh, this is pretty dope to see. You flip that switch, you flip those thrusters, and jobs are good and baby, you're ready to fly. That, that, that looks crazy. That looks really crazy. Love that. Absolutely love that. And here it is uh, next to the ODST. So um, yeah, you can see a lot, of, a lot of the same beats, and again, we're going to compare it to the older Hornet. A lot of the same stuff. But it works, man. It works. I, I really vibe with it. And there we go. There's our retro throwback. Uh, the original UNSC Hornet. With three baby little grunts. Oh, that just does take you back. This set was made of, of dust. It, it literally, it crumbled just by looking at it. Just by sneezing. In, in a room, it, if you sneezed two rooms away, it had still collapsed. It was it was bad, but it was still a, a great little first attempt. And there it is. How far you come from this basic thing 
to my favorite set of all time. And I know that's it's one of those opinions, some people really vibe with this being my favorite set of all time. Some people are like, what are you talking about, Simon? I love this set. I absolutely love it. The Red Hayabusa, the Covenant Watchtower, better Covenant Watchtower than any of the others we've got, by the way. The Red Hornet, so many upgrades, so many upgrades. Uh, love those um, missiles. Um, I love all the printed detailing, and uh, I love this long, uh, this uh, kind of way too long nozzle for the uh, the chain gun. Uh, the red Hayabusa with the sword, the jackal with the red shield matching the rest of the design, and a coloured carbine, and a lot of printed detailing here. Uh, it, it's my favourite set I've ever made. Fight me. Fight me. I'll fight you right now. It's my favorite set. Uh, then we've got uh, the Lights and Sounds Hornet versus Covenant uh, uh, Vampire. Only two times, or maybe three times we ever got the Vampire. But, uh, maybe only two times did we get it with a Covert upset. But this, uh, yeah, Lights and Sounds Hornet was pretty dope. Uh, the, the, the lights were surprisingly good. There were a lot of LEDs in that chain gun. It was a, it was a nice set. Then the NMPD Hornet. Um, it would have been good to have that light up, uh, those those uh, those search lights, but uh, no, the NMPD Hornet was phenomenal with two new articulation NMPD, uh, really good, really good, uh, very, very high valued set now, and then the little baby micro Hornet, I had to include him, just, you know, justice for all Hornets, came with the red helmet, oh, and then the Hornet Blitz. The most recent Hornet, um, and yeah, really, really decent set. Uh, I I know a lot of people speak very, very highly of this, um, and it came with that grunt that was a really highly detailed grunt, a lot of paint apps, and the uh, new Pelican Pilot. Uh, not Pelican Pilot, just standard pilot. Very good set, love those figures, but uh, and I always spoke very highly of this Hornet, but when you compare them side by side, it's like, damn, that's a lot of innovation. Honestly, just the, even the cockpit, man. Like, that's crazy. Cockpit's at least three pieces there. Um, way more detail on the chain guns, way more detail on the uh, laser um, sort of fire. I mean, I know it's a chain gun, but it, it looks, oh, maybe that's the missile. <laughs> it looks a little janky on the other one. I mean, even you, you look at uh, the, the sort of um, legs of the Hornet, uh, almost no detail compared to just fully fleshed out. So, Big shout out to some innovations there, Mega. I uh, love that they kept the exact same kind of turbines almost, pretty much the exact same turbine design. It might actually be the exact same turbine design, which is cool. I like that they respected that. Uh, they have the same back piece, but maybe a little higher up there. But they kept the same turbine, but yeah, they added the new rotating turbine feature, which is very cool. And uh, people are back and forth, you know, some people like the uh, firing missiles, some people don't. I don't really care as long as they're discreet. And um, I think these are discreet because they kind of look like they are mid-firing. So I don't really mind them. But at the end of the day, uh, this comes out on top by far. This looks like almost 2D at this point. It looks like this does not shine a good light on this one. Let me tell you that much. Wow. Even that UNSC printing, like this is, this came a long way, a long way. Wow. Um, so guys, let me know what you think of the new Hornet, the ODST Hornet. I'll go back, go back, Sergeant Stacker, go back. The UNSC Hornet Recon, baby. Wow. Uh, I, I give this a solid 10 out of 10. I cannot wait for this. Sergeant Stacker and an ODST, lots of printed detailing, a very, very well fleshed out Hornet with a cool new movable feature and way more detail on the weaponry. So this is a big win. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this and make sure to like this video uh, and subscribe for all your Mega Constructs news. I really do appreciate any new subs during all this crazy news. It's so exciting. And I'm gonna have another news video coming out later today with another set reveal and two more tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned to the domain and thank you very much. Yes, stay awesome. Yes, stay safe out there, folks. And the domain is signing off. Thank you.